everyone, Randy here again, another episode of Farming Simulator 15, and we are playing on the OGF Bayern map, and up to kind of the larger farm area here, I want to check out some fields, looking for a larger field we can hopefully afford to purchase, and I'm thinking I might have found that with field 38 here. And we're just taking a quick look at it. Now I'm not sure where the uh, field buy icons are on this map. I've kind of looked around. And obviously if I look at all the uh, buildings and stuff, it would take forever. I'm not sure if there's a building somewhere that has them, but it doesn't look like they're on the fields. I'm not sure entirely what the, um, or where the map author put the field buy icons, but I'm not seeing them. But anyway, I got the field buy sell mod, and that's going to allow me to hopefully buy and sell these fields without actually having to find the buy icons. Yeah, that's field 38. That looks like a nice, fairly large field. And there seems to be like a really wide range. Let's see, it's right control that'll do that. Really, really wide range on field prices, and I was just kind of going through them, so... Uh, Yield buy sell mod. Uh, it's the right control and then page up and down to go between the fields. So field one, too expensive, 275. Yeah, that's why I look at the size of field one there. It's kind of right smack dab in the middle of the map. $275,000. I have not actually looked at what field 42 is yet. Maybe we should do that. Uh, let's see what's here. Right control, and we'll go page up. Field 11, there's 6. See, now if you look at field 11, field 1, field 1's maybe slightly bigger. But if you look at the price tag, 6000 for that one. Well, I guess that's actually the sell price. So the buy price is probably maybe double that, 12 maybe? I'm not sure what it or if maybe it actually is six. I have no idea. I'm not sure what the sell price would be for the fields. Not actually looking to sell any fields though, so. Uh, field 15. Too expensive. Anyway, I wanted to go up to 38. Let's just go up to 38 here. 38. Yeah, field 38 there. $84,000. You know, obviously a little outside of our price range at the moment, but not too bad. Um, if you go page down to 37, a half a million dollars. I don't know if you folks look at that, but 38 and 37, it looks like they're about the same size to me. Nope. Um, doesn't actually say how big the fields are here, does it? That's kind of too bad. Like I said, I'm not sure where the buy icons for the fields are on this map. I did uh, poke around through some of the buildings in the uh, village there. Didn't see nothing that looked like it was a place for buying fields. Ah, uh, yes, there's a helicopter there. Kind of looks like a military helicopter almost. I'm not sure if it's actually coming this way or not, but... And then, yeah, if you look at field not 39 there, that's obviously smaller. Looks like maybe half the size of 38. It is $203,000. So, like I said, field 38 looks like a pretty good buy to me. Not actually looking at what's field 42. Oh, one and a half million. Uh, 1.4 million. Yeah, that's that's a little outside our price range at this moment. What's 41? 665,000. That's not so bad. Still a lot, but yeah. Where's 43? Question, where is 43? That was 43, it said, right? Field 43. See a 42. I do not see a 43. Uh, 
Oh, there it is, way on the uh, right side of the map there. I'm not sure what that actually... Unless it's maybe misplaced there. I see a field on the right side that is doesn't have a field number on it. I don't know if that's 43 there or not, but uh, yeah. But anyway, like I said, I think we're going to try to purchase field 38. Back down to field 38. And let's borrow a little bit of money. Should be enough. And buy the field 38. Ah, okay, so it does, it's half the price there. So now we can sell it for 42. That means field 11 there was, what, $12,000 or something? Yeah, and what is on that field 38? Field 38 has wheat. Okay. Also got field 25 there that has... Is that canola? Look, I need to harvest that yet. Oh, and 17 has corn. I did not realize that, and that is dark green. I should probably get on that. I think we did enough uh, corn harvesting... Uh, last two episodes, so I'll maybe do that off-screen or something. Uh, this episode, I'd want to get some grass mode for the cows, so... We will uh, get started on that. We got the MoCo. I think that's actually the name of the John Deere, John Deere MoCo. Oh, that, uh, I don't know if New Holland calls theirs the same or not. And grass field wise, we got 26. I don't know if there's a better grass field or not. Trouble is, I'm kind of using my uh, grass field for storing my equipment. So, let's take a quick look here. Kind of spotty, that's weird. I'm thinking that's probably the uh, spotty bits from the drive control mod withering the field, maybe? Guessing that's what it was. Yeah, I've got that particular feature turned off at the moment. Well, we could probably mow this too if we wanted. And maybe we'll start over here first. Nope, want it to go that way. There we go. Um, it shows the mower is up, but it's actually down. Oh well. Whatever, I guess. Okay, that is really slow. Either this tractor doesn't have enough horsepower, which eh, seems kind of unlikely to me in real life. Or something's wrong. Let's get a bigger tractor then. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have disconnected that with it like that. Oh well. Yeah, it seemed to me the 4010 would be big enough, but maybe not. Oh, uh, we got the Fent here. Or did it, what is that? That's a 40... Uh, yeah, I think I said 4010. That's actually a 4020. disconnect. Okay, let's give that a try. Ah, yes, much, much better.
Yeah, like I was saying, it seems like a 4020 would be enough horsepower. I know my uh, grandpa used to pull... Uh, or I don't think it was this big. I don't remember how big it was. Uh, I used to pull that with a 2010. So... And a 4020 is basically twice the size of... If not a little bit more than a 2010. And we'll see once too, I might end up selling some of the fields we have, uh, like the field we did last episode of the corn on it there, number eight. That field's kind of a pain to a harvest. So in some ways it'd be nice to actually get rid of that field. It's like I can just follow right down the wind row. That is uh, typically what you would do with a mower in this setup. You should be able to follow down the wind row you mowed. That should put it out to the right spot about. Like not quite actually. Some nice grass area there too I can mow. Or I can move my equipment to that grass area. I know I thought of that when I was uh, setting all the equipment up there. It's like, yeah, this is kind of my grass field here. Oh well. And there are plenty of buildings in this uh, general area here on the farm, but I think I'd eventually lose my equipment in all of them. Most of them aren't very big. There's lots of them. They're just not very big. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure why I kept mowing there, because it is up. Yeah, why are you mowing? You're up. You shouldn't be mowing. Don't know. Actually, you know I actually do need them on the other side. Yeah, down it goes. Okay. I guess for future reference, I'm going to want to turn it off then, because it looks like it'll mow even though it's up. Okay, I gave up with the smaller. <laughs> what is this problem with mowing when it's not, uh, or when it's up? Something's not quite right there. I'm not sure what's happening, but anyway. I know I tried the uh, John Deere one of these, the John Deere MoCo. That seemed to work okay. I don't have any troubles with that, but anyway. It works. It's mowing grass. Probably not the fastest of mowers. Not sure if I'd work with course play or not. Oh, hello, more. Going over here. And 
two are probably going to want to take out a little more load maybe to get the mixing station going. I know we need to uh, ferment the silage yet, but get some grass and straw going <clears throat> in it at least. I happen to notice something, that PTO shaft kind of stretches there a little bit. Anyway, back to mode. Yeah, looks like I should probably I should drive just a little offset to the uh, previous win row. I'm not sure we'll actually tether this grass or not. I don't think we'll have to. I'll probably see if I can get a pickup wagon and just give it straight to the cows. Uh-oh. There we go. Okay. Got a little stuck there because I rotated it too far. That is uh, one slight issue with these mowers that happens every now and then. Should be able to just uh, rotate the head back and it should unstick itself there. So maybe we'll see if we can get that uh, course plate a mow of what's left of field 26 anyway that isn't covered by machinery. I could try, I think there's a field number for that there, is there? 
Oh, maybe that's field 27 there, that little grass bit. Yeah, I'm not sure how well this uh, mower will actually work with course play. Obviously, I don't think course play is going to be able to flip sides like uh, should be able to in real life, but uh, or like I am driving it. But uh, I guess you could always leave it centered. It's a possibility. Not the most realistic that way, but uh, you could do that maybe. Okay, last little pass here. Okay, we'll see if we can get it to do 26 as well. And for that, I don't think there's going to be a course loaded for it. Just double check here a moment. That's fertilizer. Yeah, we need field work mode. Number 26. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay. So we need to do... I don't think it'll calculate either. Nope. Start course recording. And for areas that don't already have a area calculated for them, all you simply need to do is drive around them. Okay, and stop there. And we'll save that as field 26. Now we'll just have 26. And I should be able to do the currently loaded course. Oh, let's see, what is the width of this mower? Four point eight, eh? Okay, well, that's probably not quite the right spot, but we'll go with that. Uh, let's see, what's, can we move that over? Oh, did not mean to do that. Let's leave that tool horizontal. That's interesting. wonder if we uh, do that, if that'll make any difference or not. Nice if that would, uh, line would stay up a little longer so I can get a better view of it. If I go to the front side, can I see it? Yeah, 3.7. Let's go 3.5, I guess. And then let's bump this down just to, like, maybe 4.5. Okay, starting corner, let's do the northeast. Let's go in a. No, what are we gonna go? Actually, you know what? Let's do where we are now. Probably gonna 
Carolina goes south, I think that is. And lands, let's do... Four or five, oh, that's just six. Go crazy. And we'll save that field 26. Grass mow 4.5 meter. Not entirely sure what this will do here, but we'll find out. Okay, that appears to be working. Excellent. Okay. Actually, let's see what we need. We can get the, the baler. Not that tractor. Let's see what's what baler's the tractor on again. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. How about this one? Aha, baler. Makes the question. Do I have this on a list somewhere? Go. Oh, our 7810 wants to leave us here. Seems like you shut the parking brake off, then it's a little bit better. I don't know what the parking brake has to do with it, but... Anyway, we'll finish bailing up this... Well, actually, if we're going to get a pickup wagon... What sort of pickup wagons can we afford? Probably going to be that one right there. Okay, so let's borrow a little bit more money. Let's see, that should be enough. And then we'll head back up to the farm. I've had enough of the Realm Hills for now, to be honest. After they all uh, fell off that wank in there, I was less than enthusiastic about putting more around. Making more round bales and picking them up, so. And I did get one comment from uh, Delcom here. He was uh, saying his OCD was driving him nuts with all the corn I left behind. Uh, well, hopefully it's a little better. Um, I did get most of the corn. There's still a little bit there and a little bit there and one stalk there and a couple stalks in the corner. So hopefully you can uh, sleep at night now knowing I got, oh, I guess there's a couple spots over here too. Now hopefully you can sleep at night knowing I got some of the corn picked up so your OCD can subside a little bit. Yeah, speaking of comments, let's see what else do we have here. Uh, Nickel Wood was saying, RD, you have to get the door opening mod to go inside the chicken coops. Uh, this is on the state's map. There we have the uh, chicken coops, and yeah, the doors don't open on them. So he is saying the door opening mod. I will have to uh, check that out. I might just go the uh, simple route and sell the chickens, then I don't have to worry about it. I do believe there is grass and straw storage here. At least I'm assuming that's what these are. I think this one here is what straw. Assuming that's what that is. And probably grass, silage. That's probably mixed rations, maybe. Okay, find an empty spot and stick the baler in it. Ah, empty spot. 
may or will probably actually pick up the uh, grass without tending it if I had a guess, but I'm not sure. Looks like he's got the sixth head. No, he's doing the last headland now. Pretty much got that field wrapped up too from the looks of it with the headlands. I just didn't want him crashing into anything, so. And yeah, if folks have not gotten the idea already from just a little bit of driving I've done around this map, very, very nice detail on this map. Not too many maps to see with this uh, level of detail on them. And I honestly don't know what happened there with me crashing into that fence. It's like the tractor went turn. Okay, let's purchase that pickup wing again. Yeah, I don't think it's worth going to the bigger one, I don't think. We would need, what, another 30, another 20,000. Actually, no, another 30,000. Uh, I can borrow one of the 30,000, I guess. Oh, what's the size difference? We got 21,000 versus 38,000, so almost twice as big. Yeah, I think we'll just go with this one for now. And with that, folks, I think we'll uh, wrap up the episode there. If folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.